Right, it's now the 20th of January, so it's been 18 days. Uh, I'm going to take these off and turn them today, so take the tops off and have a look and see how much they've dropped. And I say you can see it's dropped there, it's dropped what? A good third, yes, I would have said that was at least 30 centimetres, a good foot. So it's dropped. If we move over to the second one now, I mean, see, this one has dropped a little bit more, I would have said. Not much, but it's definitely gone down. It is a good third. Um, we can see on here as well, if we just zoom in just down here, there we are. the rats have been having a little bit of a, a dig through the straw. Uh, that's to be expected. Uh, it certainly doesn't encourage the rats, this composting. But they're inquisitive creatures. They'll come and have a look and see what's going on. And also, if it's a bit of a cold night, uh, they'll come and have a sleep in it. But they're not actually being encouraged. Right, first things first. Let's pull some of this straw off to the lining underneath. Oop, put the steam come on, you see. Now this straw, we will initially place in the bottom of the, the one we're turning into. We'll be building this exactly the same as I built them initially, or turning exactly the same, which is in layers. Now the object and the purpose behind the turn is to actually turn the heap inside out as well as to re-aerate it. So the object is to put the bits to the sides here, the edge, into, um, into the middle of the other heap and the middle to the outside. And we get a very good distribution of heat and that will help to ensure that all pathogens, weed seeds, etc. are destroyed. But it won't actually look that much different to when we started. You get the real change is in its integrity, which even in this one you start to, yeah, there it is. You can see it's starting to lose, oops, sorry, well, you can see it's beginning to lose its integrity, which is really what this heating process does, particularly to the shaving, is you basically give them a slow cook for several weeks, and that destroys the lignin starts to break the cell walls down, which is really what we want. We want to get these cell walls busted. And the bigger you build the heap, the less edge you have. But you are limited on the size you can build a heap, because that oxygen will only naturally percolate to a depth of a metre. So you can't make a heap wider than two metres, unless you put in some form of oxygen channel like this is here, which allows the air to get in. Right. The last heap was built with, a, with the last two heaps and the starter heap was built with the a 25 kilo bag of gypsum and we're going to finish off that 25 kilo. Um, you could add more, you could add less, but you know, comes a 25 kilo bag, use a 25 kilo bag. And again, it's just a case of sprinkling it over the top. Right, now. Sometimes at the turn, you can find it rather dry, actually this isn't. Now the simple test really is if you can wring it out. So basically you take a lump like this, it's not dripping, but if you give it a good squeeze, you should get some moisture out of it, which is what we are getting. So it doesn't need any more, we don't need to wet it up at all, we've got to wet it up perfectly. You might also notice that you're not seeing a lot of the seaweed. That's been digested now and is being used by the microbes for the shavings. Right, remember when I first built it, I mentioned there was a sweet potato. There he is. And you can see he's all just turning a mush. Hmm. Smells rather sour. Sense it's still not gone. But the outside of it is just turning to mush and it's just getting cooked in this heat. Again, like I said in that, these are better if they're chopped up because then this inner is got at. But not to worry, it will still break down. Right, this is halfway in. Uh, see it's quite hot in here, so if we open up, see how hot it is in the middle. Because the heat will still be retained here. Yeah, it's warm. It's just there. It's dropped below 50. Over 30, but it's not 
as you can see, it just really is structurally to play about with it. You need to start to see the way it's losing, the cell walls are losing their integrity and breaking down. And this is really what we're trying to do with these thermophilic bacteria, is to get them to do this to the cell walls so that the worms can basically eat it. But as you can see, this is all broken down nicely. It's just turning the mush. And it has no smell. None at all. Uh, faint earthy smell, which is what you want, which is, in fact, the geomycin that comes off the actinomycetes. That's what you can smell. This is what you can smell in forests as well, when you walk across forest floors and you have that earthy smell. It's actually geomycin, which is a, a product of... Um, Actually, no, my size. Right, just to give you a comparison, I've got to grab some of the original horseman you're shaving, which is here. Now, if we play about that, you can see it brings out the water the same, but as you can see, it's still pretty fibrous. It's not the cell wall, it's structural integrity of the cell walls, but the lignin hasn't been attacked because there's been no heating process on it. It's the double cook that really does the business. And as you can see, it's the structural integrity there, the uh, shavings are disappearing. Now, obviously, I'm playing with this one a little bit more than I played with that one, but just to be fair, it's just a scientific integrity. I'm playing with one of them the same way. Now, you see, it's breaking down pretty rapidly, pretty well. Okay, play around with this one, and when I have to try it, you just won't get that. The cell wall will break down the same. Yeah, you see, it's just... It's exactly keeping... The shavings are keeping their integrity. Right. Remember in uh, the last one I found the sweet smelly pineapple? Not so sweet now. This is it here now, as you see it. The leaves are gone. It's still got the hard central stem is still there. But the leaves themselves are just mush. So that's after three weeks worth of attack. Right, that's this one empty now. So we've emptied this. Uh, on this side we're up to up to there. So we've gone from a two-thirds sink now to a quarter sink roughly. Uh, that additional volume is obviously air that we've put in, fresh air that we've put in, and that'll help that cook up. But I'll just shift the camera now and we'll have a look at it. Here we go. As you can see, I've put a layer of gypsum on top. I've now virtually finished the gypsum. So in this heap here will have gone a 25 kilo bag of gypsum. Uh, what we're going to do is we'll move over. This one we'll finish the top off with this one, and then what's left we'll turn into the one square metre of the first one there so that we have a starter for another heap. So I'm going to start the starter heap here. As you can see, I've put the straw that was on the top of that one on the base. I'll put the barrier back in. Right, so now we've got the straw on the base and what I'm going to do is make this smaller heap here so that we've got this one empty. So we should end up then with the one on my right here full, and this one full. So we've lost a third in volume. A quarter in volume, I should say. Right, that's it. Those two heaps now, or four square metres, as they were, four cubic metres, are now three cubic metres. All that remains to do now is put a little bit of straw on top of them, put the covers on, leave them for another two weeks. Right, that's that done. Well, it took two hours to turn that. And that's us finished. For another two weeks. It's all covered. We'll leave it.